Hello everyone, it's Father back again for my weekly update. Thanks for taking some time to watch this video. So tonight, Friday, July 23rd at 9 p.m., we're going to have our next family movie night out on the field behind the McCall Center. Tonight's featured movie is I Believe. We'll have some free popcorn and water there for you, but you feel free to bring whatever snacks you might like and a chair or a blanket uh, to enjoy what is should be a lovely evening um, and a great movie. Of course, it's open to family members, friends, neighbors, whoever might want to come out. So please feel free to join us for this uh, occasion tonight. In my email t uh, this week, you'll find a video from Barbara Austin, our Director of Evangelization, about this year's Faith Formation Program. So you may be aware that um, we've begun transitioning our Faith Formation Program to a family Faith Formation. So that means that families are learning the faith together and in the process transmitting that faith to their children. So it's a little different than the kind of tra traditional uh, classroom model that we're used to. Uh, this is a family-based model. So you may have some questions about that, what that's going to look like, how, uh, how are things are going to happen. So Barbara addresses those questions in the video this week. And you also hear from a parishioner in that video whose uh, family um, faith journey and her own personal faith journey was really impacted by last year's family faith formation program. So if you have children in faith formation or grandchildren, I'd really encourage you to watch that video, which is available in the email that I sent to you today. And I'll also link to it in the description of this video down below. A reminder that if you have children who are approaching a sacramental year, uh, second grade for uh, first reconciliation and first Eucharist and ninth grade for confirmation, your children have to be enrolled in faith formation the year prior to be eligible to make that sacrament. So that's the first grade and the eighth grade. Obviously, we want all of our children to have the opportunity to have faith formation with their families um, every year, but uh, it's especially important as we approach a sacrament. So if you have a first grader or an eighth grader, you're going to want to make sure that they are enrolled in our family faith formation uh, if you are not attending a Catholic school. And registrations are now being accepted for next year's family faith formation via our website. And there's a link in the um, email that I sent to you today. We're very excited to announce the um, return of the parish picnic on Sunday, September 19th from 12 to 3 p.m. here on our beautiful campus. We're going to have our annual St. Mark Parish picnic. You may recall that uh, the picnic used to be in June. Actually, I, I've never been to one. I just hear that it that they they're wonderful uh, occasions. Uh, but we're going to move it to September this year as a kind of a kickoff to a to a new uh, church year of activities and also a, a return of everyone back to the church campus after our um, after these years of, of the pandemic. So I hope you'll mark your calendar Sunday, September 19th. We're going to have food and games and, and a lot of fun. So I hope um, that you'll make a plan to attend our parish picnic. And lastly, today, um, this weekend, we are bidding farewell to uh, seminarian Ron Howard. Uh, as you know, Ron has been with us over the course of the last year on his pastoral year internship. And it's time uh, for him to be going back to the seminary. So after a few weeks of uh, downtime, of vacation time, he will report back to Mount St. Mary's Seminary in Emmitsburg uh, to finish his studies there. So we wish Ron a Godspeed. We wish him lots of luck in the, in the rest of his studies. And uh, let's also promise him the support of our prayers during these final few years of his formation for the priesthood. I think we've all been uh, edified by Ron's contributions to the parish and and his enthusiasm for the faith and for the priesthood. And uh, we look forward to hopefully celebrating one day his ordination. Thanks for taking some time to watch this video, everyone. I look forward to seeing you at Mass this weekend. God bless you.